absolutely blown away with the work this year. Big thank you to Bertie for supporting over 500 artists tonight and being here. Thank you. I know that the owners, uh, Deborah and Denise Donnelly, they were working on the, uh, in my constituency for, for many years, uh, but deserted that uh, when they made so much money. And, uh, <laughs> when they were getting 25% of every painted over a thousand quid so they, they moved over here to make their fortune in Francis Street. Now, I say that yes, I learned an awful lot uh, from the girls about just the amount of effort that people put in and what's been happening uh, here for the, the last number of years and um, it, it is terrific and the, the Bad Art Gallery uh, which uh, from look around here uh, some of the, the work on exhibition seems to be the most uh, inappropriate name uh, that you could find for, for it. But anyway, I suppose that catches um, a, a lot of uh, interest. And uh, I know uh, the, this unselected exhibition is uh, something that people put an enormous, an enormous amount of, of effort and commitment in. Uh, seriously, I, I want to thank uh, the owners of gallery, of the gallery, the Deborah and Denise, uh, for uh, inviting me here and putting their, their effort into making this all happen. Uh, it is a, a huge commitment. I know the amount of times they've been uh, onto my office, onto Sandra. Uh, I know, they, and I realise talking to people how far people travel from around the country uh, to be part uh, of all of this. So it's really uh, filled a huge void uh, that was obviously there, and all of you wouldn't be here uh, only for for that. I think it's a it's a brilliant and it's an ingenious uh, concept. I'm told that the idea behind the uh, exhibit is to uh, partly boost uh, the fragile confidence. Uh, of artists uh, not chosen and to show the public the high standard of the art uh, not selected by the uh, RHA and I, I think that this exhibition uh, continues to catch on it may become a, a badge of honour for many artists to end up here uh, in the so-called uh, bad art gallery rather than the RHA such well, art is subjective uh, and just because a painting or a piece of work does not uh, fit some people's criteria uh, it does not mean that it's not top quality and this is certainly the case with so much of, of the art here and uh, I'm sure none of you care a damn uh, whether you're here or somewhere else but anyway um, you're all here. Uh, just to take, to take the point I think of subjectivity in art a little further I think it's worth stressing that just like in politics where the so-called experts get it wrong anyone who uh, worries about the quality of the work on display here or feels a stigma about a non-selected exhibition should bear in mind that the first uh, ever uh, world unselected show in Paris, in, I'm told in 1863, 
had Suzanne and Pissarro and Whistler and Mane and Mane and, and everybody else in it. So you're you're definitely among uh, the, the best in the world, uh, and you're lucky not to be in another place. But anyway, uh, <laughs> and for those who are not uh, history buffs, uh, these guys are reliably informed are up with the uh, political equivalents of the Mass, De Valerian and the Heron and a few other places like that. But, uh, in a similar team anyway, and tongue in cheek, I wondered on, on the way over here uh, where the overlap uh, between uh, art and, and politics lies, and I have to say that I'm not super, still sure. But anyway, I do know that one of my childhood political heroes was John F. Kennedy, uh, who was a man who had a, a great appreciation of the arts and used it time and time again in his speeches. And there's one quote of his uh, that I've used many times that I'd like to share with you uh, all that strikes me very appropriate. And the quote is that art is the great democrat calling forth creative genius from every sect of society, disregarding race or religion or wealth or colour. And that was John F. Kennedy's um, a great quote. Where the overlap uh, between uh, art and, and politics lies, and I have to say that I'm not super, still sure. But anyway, I do know that one of my childhood political heroes was John F. Kennedy, uh, who was a man who had a, a great appreciation of the arts and used it time and time again in his speeches. And there's one quote of his uh, that I've used many times that I'd like to share with you uh, all that strikes me very appropriate. And the quote is that uh, art is the great democrat calling forth creative genius from every sect of society, disregarding race or religion or wealth or colour. And that was John F. Kennedy's um, a great quote. I've always liked the quote of Kennedy because it captures for me uh, the fact that the history of art is the visual story of mankind's creativity and imagination. And it captures our ability to depict the world around us, uh, to portray the, uh, the powerful emotions uh, which move us and to leave a record of our history and to pass on golden memories for uh, succeeding generations uh, to, to treasure. And I think Kennedy also stressed the importance of artists as those who, in his words, nourish the roots of our culture. And this, of course, is a simple truth because artistic achievements have over the centuries given delight uh, and aesthetic pleasure to mankind and uh, only one has to look at the, all of the great masters uh, to, to see that, and whether they be international ones uh, like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, or in modern times, Picasso, or Warhol. And um, we have our own people here, Jack B. Gates, and O'Connor, and Casey, and Lavery, and others. And others. But uh, for me, the magic of art is uh, that uh, the brilliance is not confined to the great masters. Uh, it's right there to be found in, in the work and imagination of everybody, uh, however talented, who can take enjoyment and relaxation from a painting, a drawing, or a sculpture. The artists that are represented here this evening uh, in the Bad Arts Exhibition. Your works are a credit to you, and I sincerely uh, congratulate you on what you've achieved. It's truly really great uh, art, and I'd encourage people to dig deep uh, and buy earlier often. And there's a, um, a fellow over there in the middle, and somebody bought that, so if you buy that, please use it by anything. But anyway, um, whoever it is, I thank you. So, again, to I have to thank the, the girls for asking me here. Uh, it's great to see so many uh, people here. Wonderful, and like, wonderful evening in the heart of the liberties. No better place to be uh, and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Patience. I